Here on The Flow, it's time for us to head to our agriculture report. We've been talking in the last few weeks about the shortage of uh, agricultural fertilisers and that uh, is largely a result of uh, the China supply. Uh, Much of it comes into Australia. The federal member for Grey is Rowan Ramsey, himself uh, a farmer, and uh, in the federal parliament uh, he's gone at uh, length to explain some of the issues that are facing the farming sector directly as a result of of uh, the reduction in fertiliser, the increased price of obtaining it and the issues with shipping that fertiliser into Australia. But there are a whole lot of other issues facing farmers at the moment and, and increasing concerns are being shown around uh, the supply lines on new machinery, uh, on parts um, and particularly more concerning on the fertiliser and chemical uh, supplies coming into the nation and the pricing. In fact, we've seen staggering price increases of anything up to almost 300 per cent in fertiliser and chemicals and, um, and concerns about supplies. To give a bit of explanation, uh, nitrogen fertilisers are, are largely made from gas and most plants uh, in the world, certainly where we get product from, are in Asia. And uh, in Asia and Europe, the gas price has increased by around about 400 per cent and is up to $40 a gigajoule or thereabouts. And that is driving the price of fertiliser higher and, and, and causing the producing countries to restrict uh, exports to try and dampen down the prices in their own jurisdictions. And that includes China, but uh, that is not an unexpected response. Uh, in Australia, the gas prices around $10 a gigajoule, and that uh, is as a result of the government's big stick policies. But unfortunately, we don't have that manufacturing capacity in Australia, and our ability to produce nitrogen fertiliser is severely limited, so that is a problem for farmers. And just on fertiliser, I was asked by a farmer, you know, we we produce a lot of fertiliser in Australia, why don't we hold that in Australia, much as other countries are doing with others. Uh, But, uh, in fact, we are fairly short. we produce around about enough DAP, a couple hundred thousand tonnes a year. Uh, we produce more than enough single super and export um, around about two thirds of that capacity. But the big liar is in um, MAP, where we, we, we produce about 162,000 tonnes uh, but need nearly a million a year. So we are a, a net receiver of fertilisers in, in a big way. So these are real problems for farmers as they look at their books for next year. And this shortage of freight capacity is feeding into the chemical market as well. And uh, as it rains, almost as I speak uh, at home, and causing damage to the crops, it's also causing a whole raft of new summer weeds to grow, which will require chemicals, which are three times as expensive as they were this time last year, to keep those summer weeds under control. So that was a comprehensive view of uh, the problem by Rowan Ramsey in the federal parliament. It does beg the question as to why in Brisbane uh, that we see the pivot fertiliser plant with 155 jobs closing down. Accordingly, gas and the price of gas is the issue. And you heard Mr Ramsey referring to gas prices there. Australia has actually uh, a lot cheaper gas than what it is available in other places around the world. And why is it that we're not producing more fertiliser from that gas. There is one project uh, that is happening in South Australia up at Lee Creek, but that's still to go through a range of uh, approvals. And that project in itself would produce uh, fertiliser for Australian farmers. It would be locally produced and it would be a good idea. Federal government needs to get behind it. Uh, it is actually in Rowan Ramsey's electorate and uh, be good to see the member for Grey to become more vocal about it. It is a state approval issue, but um, by the federal government lobbying the state state of South Australia to uh, get past uh, a lot of the different uh, issues. I mean, there'll be land management, there'll be uh, Indigenous management, there'll be environmental issues, but all those approvals need to be obtained and uh, it is a remote and desert location. And so one would ask why the federal government isn't pushing harder and Rowan Ramsey pushing harder to get that project off the ground, particularly given the need for fertiliser, not only on Mr Ramsey's farm, but on farms right around Australia.